Group dating equals safe space equals less of a broken heart. Hey guys, it's H.J. Welcome to my channel if it is your first time. My name's Hillary Jane. Um, I like to talk about life, things that are important. And today, I wanted to talk to you guys about something that I think is really wise. It can really help you out when it comes to dating. And that is group dating and why group dating is so important and why I think it's such a vital part to dating. All right, and before we get into the video, you already know that I'm gonna ask you to subscribe, 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 yay! Let's just get to it. One of the reasons I think group dating is a vital key point when you really first start liking somebody is because when you really start to like somebody and you're crushing on them and you're just like oh my gosh they're so cute and they play guitar or they have a little job at pizza hut or maybe you're not that young and you're like oh he's the ceo of a company and you just see all the great things about them um it's called puppy love and it's called wearing rose colored glasses and Everything about them is amazing. Oh, the way they laugh is so cute. Oh, the way they slurp their spaghetti is so cute. Uh, you like them so much and you just think that they could be the most amazing person in the world. So you wanna dive in deep into this relationship. Let's go to the movies, let's hang out after school, let's study together, let's always like together, 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 dates, 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 which is totally fine for you and that person to be together and alone if you can handle it, if you can handle it. But three or four months into it, when you just can't hold back your crazy anymore and the truth about people comes out, you can start to see that, oh, this person goals and ambitions doesn't really line up with mine or oh, this person isn't as funny and amazing as I thought or oh, this person has an anger streak or oh, this person has sin issues that I'm not really trying to deal with in my life or this person is addicted to pornography or like literally it could go down the list of reasons that you start to see later in the relationship that you didn't see before that can be real deal breakers and then all of a sudden you're three or four months in and you've given them so much of your heart that you don't want to break up even though you know you should or you really want to or they want to break up with you and you're about to get your world crushed because you've put so much time energy and effort into them in such a short amount of time and that's where group dating comes in group dating is so awesome because it is a safe space where you can be around the person that you're crushing on and be around the person that you like but get to know them in the context of other people how do they act when somebody gossips against them how do they act whenever somebody disagrees with them and wants to have a little debate like do they get heated do they handle pressured situations well you're gonna see them around um, people not just you all the time you're gonna see them around people what do other people think about you guys together which is that could be a video all on its own but heed the wisdom of others around you right if they may see something in the person that you're crushing on that you don't even notice because they're not wearing rose colored glasses and you are you're getting to know them but not in the context of putting your entire heart and soul and energy and everything into this person all the time which happens whenever you spend a lot of alone time with somebody you get real deep real quick um so it just helps you to guard your heart when you're in groups maybe it does work out maybe they're amazing and you've been around them in a group setting for a while and you start to see their little quirks and you start to see their little flaws and you start to see this and that but it's not really a deal breaker and so you know you want to proceed and you guys could end up married or something like that you know what i'm saying it's such a safe space and so i would really tell you if you've been hurt before and you say i don't want anything to do with relationships i don't want anything to do with dating you just get hurt you get your heart broken you were probably that person that put so much of yourself and invested so much into somebody you really didn't know and so i would say don't be afraid to try to get to know somebody just do it in the context of group dating and that helps so much I wish I would have done that. Actually, with Roman, my husband, um, we did do that in the beginning. So it was cool. The first time I met him, we hung out with Jocelyn and we hung out with Antoine, which they're both married now. Um, Jocelyn's married to Marty and Antoine is married to Sienna. Shout out to y'all. Love you guys. Um, so that was cool. And what's funny is within that context, like he got to see some things in me that he didn't really like that I probably wouldn't have put out there if it was just us all like schmoozing or whatever um and then the same i got to see in him so that was cool um i don't know i recommend it so yeah that's really all i have i want to keep it short and sweet group dating equals safe space equals less of a broken heart it's easier to decide if you
my electricity just went out. What is happening? Okay, I thought it was kind of stormy outside. I live in California. That's weird. We're not supposed to be having storms. I am originally from Houston, though, and uh, my heart and love goes out to the people of Houston right now. I've been through a hurricane in Houston, so nothing like that, though. Not like Category 5, so I love you guys, and I'm praying for everybody. I just want to throw that in there. So with that being said, I hope that I helped you out. If you have anything to say about it, if you agree, if you disagree, if you want to add something to it, maybe if you have some cool ideas for group dates, put them in the comments below. Let's just be a family and let's help each other out and help each other grow. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Last time I said, let's get to 50 thumbs up which we did, we exceeded that, so let's do 75 now, let's go up by 25. <laughs> let's get to 75, that's my goal. Give this video a thumbs up and let's reach that goal. I love you guys. Peace out, y'all.